so close to getting a really good result the other night. Uh, um, just a final reflection on on uh, on the Ipswich game and the performance of your team. Um, yeah, listen, it's you don't really want plaudits for for playing well and and not getting the result. You want plaudits for playing well and getting the result, don't you? And uh, you know, just disappointing for the lads, the effort that they put in, especially coming back from from the deficit that we you know we're up against, and and then to to show a performance like that deserved. Um, you know, certainly a positive result. But that, that's the that's the fine margins that we need to tip. You know, in our favour, it's the it's the fine margins that that we've been, been trying to work on since we've been in the building. Um, you know, to certainly concentrate on the performance levels to then try and get the results in in certainly what we, what we have and uh, and the challenges that we that we face. And like you say, despite the fact that you want to get a result to go with a performance, when you go to someone like Ipswich who are going for promotion and you have more shots than them, you have more of the ball, you scored three goals. What does that say for the team? And is that something you can use? Move? Yeah, absolutely. I think since since I've been in the building, you know, a lot of the performance levels have been, uh, you know, a standard where, you know, we've just possibly fallen short for one reason or another. You know, it's it's a mentality. It's it's the habits that we need to instil to make sure when them games are in that you know, kind of framework that, that fall our side and, and we fall on the positive side. Um, so it's more of the, you know, the same, the belief, um, you know, trying to turn them performance levels and the output in, into, you know, strong results as well. Are you pleased with the fighting qualities too? That's something that the fans have spoken about. That they enjoyed sort of seeing that aspect of the performance and that, you know, if the, if the season is going to end a certain way, at least the players end it in the right manner and they they felt like they saw that on on yeah absolutely and i think it's 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 a minimum isn't it i think when since i've come in the building the you know the first meeting i've said previously you know we either you know roll over and and kind of just travel around the country and and not give a good account of ourselves or we make a fist of it and you know if somebody can find a single reason not to do that well i'm i'm all ears and I think, you know, like I said, in, in the main part of since I've been in, it's still a matter of weeks since I've been in a short time. Um, you know, the, the players, they're still, you know, really got a really hunger, a good hunger to, to compete. Um, and like you say, the, the challenges are, are there for all to see. Um, so, you know, we, we certainly want to wear the, the shirt with pride. We want to build, we want to evolve. Uh, and we'll do that by being positive. Um, you know, like I said before, it's easy to be negative in certain situations. You know, I knew what situation I was coming in. I don't think there's any mileage in anybody, whether it's press, fans, players, staff, to be negative. You know, you've got to have, have your best foot forward and, and you know, in, in three months' time, we want to be in a better place. In six months, 18 months, we want to be in a real strong place, the football club. And, you know, that started on, you know, mid-December when I came in. Is there a core group of players here who you can win with in the future? You know, you've inherited the team, but do you sort of see a core within this side? That you think, yes, Joe, you know I can work with this. I can drive this forward going going into the long term. Yeah, and it's a it's a strange thing. And you know, I had a good meeting with the chairman uh, the other day, and I think for the first time, you know, everybody thinks you know if a football manager turns up on a Saturday and plays ninety minutes and goes home, the, the, this is a football club that fundamentally needs pushing forward. It needs you know a lot of change, a lot of environmental structural things impl implemented and put into place if we want to sustain as a as a championship football club which you know i'm a large part of that and i take pride in in doing that around within football clubs and i think the last couple of weeks have you know certainly i've been really excited um although the results you know you look at the last you know three games from hull to watford to ipswich we possibly could have won all three we could have drawn all three uh with the mode that we're in at the minute we, we lost all three and you know, when you look at the stats, you know, we've come from winning positions to lose 22 points this year, which would probably see us in 15th. And if we can then be good in both boxes at certain restarts and set plays, you know, you could find yourself higher up the division. But, you know, we aren't at the minute and we're in this moment. So what we need to do is be really mindful of, of what we are, who we are and how we're going to move forward. Um, and like I said, the, the last two weeks, I've, I've been really excited about it. There's a core group there, um, you know, young, youthful um, you know, players who, who can run and fight for the for the club, and, and you know, there's a, there's a good few senior players within that. Uh, so moving forward, it's in my my opinion. And listen, I I get judged by results, and we get judged as equals every three, you know, every Saturday at three o'clock against you know Premier League ex Premier League clubs in Leicester's and Southampton. I'm all right with that because I love the challenge. I love the championship. Um, so you know, while we're here, 
and hopefully we may stay here, but if it's the next time, you know, we'd be better for it. Have you come away encouraged from those conversations with the chairman about perhaps the infrastructure around the team that can can be uh, switched so that maybe in the future the team could have a better chance of, of becoming an established? Yes, and listen, I think it's a there's quite a few buzzwords in football, isn't there, about philosophies and cultures and structures and formations and everything else. And they're only words unless you implement something. Um, so, you know, I think it's important, you know, like I say, I've, I've made my views quite clear early as, as I came in. Now I've had a right good few weeks and a couple of months to look around at the, at the football club. Um, you know, it's been a little bit frustrating, you know, at times, you know, because we haven't been able to really get on our training pitch in the last three weeks. And, you know, we're playing you know, Leeds, Southamptons and Hulls, etc. So that's a challenge, but it's something that we're mindful of and we want to move forward within that. Um, and like I said, at the minute, the, the chairman's very receptive, he's very understanding, um, you know, and I'm sure he'll be very willing. You know, again, I can only give words unless I act and the, the club, the chairman, are exactly the same. But if we're working together and we're in that same frame of mind and we've got that same drive and determination to move forward, uh, as since I've been in the chairman and, and Paul and, and Rob certainly have, uh, so we'll work together as leaders of the football club to move it forward and you know and be a sustainable championship football club. Hopefully, how was Ollie Rathbone? Uh, yeah, he's, he's obviously had a bit of a whack on on Tuesday. Um, he's very frustrated because he wants to train and play every single minute. You know what uh, all his energy levels are like, so. Um, you know, he's it, getting looked after really well, um, so we'll, we'll see. He's obviously got to pass a few tests, etc., with, you know, just to make sure his health is the most important thing. So, um, fingers crossed, he comes through that in the next couple of days. Are you having to battle with any any new injury issues going into this game, Liam? Or is there any good? Uh, yeah, we've uh, we've had to battle with the injuries since I've been in the building, haven't we? And, still ongoing we're still minding players you know in, in February we're still having to manage players minutes and manage players availability which is which is a bit of a frustrating thing but you know again I can't really comment because it's a lot of things happened before I came into the building uh, it's something that we you know we have addressed and we will address and we'll be better for it moving forward in terms of QPR how do you feel about this game and, and what do you expect from it yeah going well the um, you know, they've, they've got good players, haven't they? They've, they've got a squad full of really talented individuals. Um, so it'll be, it'll be a really good game for us. But again, if we can start the game as we finished on Tuesday and give the same performance levels that we've done of, of late, um, you know, fingers crossed we can get a positive result and, uh, and have a good performance. And having come close to getting that, that positive result, you know, how much would it just lift the club, do you think, to get that elusive away win? Yeah, yeah, I've heard a little bit about that since since I've been in, and you listen, you know, we're all part of it now. I don't shy away from it. Um, you know, I don't palm it on to other people. Um, you know, it's easy to blame or make excuses. We're, we're massively part of it, so we'll work, you know, terrifically hard to try and prepare properly to try and travel down to to, to Queens Park Rangers and and give a really strong performance uh, because I think you know strong performances normally leads to results. Um, you know, I say to the players all the time, results are my pressure, not theirs. Their pressure is to make sure they're fit, available, got the information to make sure they can carry out a really strong, you know, individual performance, which turns collectively and then, in in turn, you know, turns into results, which makes makes my life a lot easier. Very best to look this weekend. Cheers, thank you, Rob. Thank you. Hey, Liam, uh, just a, a quick check on Ollie. Has, has he passed all these all the concussion protocols he has to go through so far? Is, it, is he on course to be available tomorrow? Uh, no, not as yet. No. Right. No. So there's... It wouldn't have been available if it had, it had passed them straight away anyway. There's a, there's, there's really? a short turnaround, yeah. Um, right, so it, it's too much for short turnaround anyway. Oh, yeah, do a time frame thing then, but yeah. hopefully, hopefully yeah, it's yeah, it yeah. should be Yeah, uh, it should be available, yeah. So Tom, a bit of uh, mixed emotions from Tuesday night's game, obviously. Such a good performance, but to leave empty-handed would have been disappointing with the effort that the lads put into it. Yeah, a uh, bit of a gut punch. Uh, towards the end of the game, but I, I felt the performance levels were really good. Uh, you know, we we did have a, a, a probably a shaky ten minutes, but other than that, I felt like you know we dominated large parts of the game and were incredibly unlucky not to come away with anything from from it. You mentioned that there was a, a shaky 10-15 minutes, but Ipswich are up there for a reason. They've done that to plenty of teams this season. The the response after that, and as you say, the way that we sort of dominated the game, especially in the second half. 
got back into it from two goals, that must give the lads a lot of, not just encouragement, but belief as well. Yeah, I, I don't think we, we've stopped believing at any point. Um, but again, really encouraging display uh, from us. And it's something hopefully we can take into the, the game at QPR tomorrow. Um, but, you know, we're, we're all, we, we'll prepare right, we'll travel down there and, um, you know, we'll try and, we'll try and keep them performance levels at, uh, like they were on uh, Tuesday. Obviously, you'd rather have been leaving with something to show for your efforts, but the performance on Tuesday, is that something that now we can sort of use as a blueprint going forward in, in, in the way that we want to perform and play? Yeah, I think, I think that, you know, how we want to, to perform is, is is clear and, and it's, I suppose it's just about, you know, people taking ownership of the jobs, myself included in that. And um, if we can all, you know, if we can all do, win our individual battle, so to speak, um, and, you know, collectively have, I keep using that word performance, but that's, that's I think that's first and foremost what we've got to do, focus on a performance and then the, resu the results will hopefully come. You started the game on Tuesday, obviously, mm. against Ipswich and couldn't have asked for a better start with a nice finish inside the opening two minutes. Yeah, yeah, I think it was my own second league start of the season, so just delighted to be on the pitch, to be honest with you. Just delighted to be starting games because I do think I'm a different animal when I'm, when I'm starting games as opposed to, you know, coming on last ten minutes. And, and I know people will argue, well, you know, you've always got to be ready, but anyone who's, who's played the game will tell you how difficult it is coming on. No matter what you do, no matter how you prepare, it's completely different coming on the pitch. And yeah, um, you know that's that's up to me to to stay in the right mindset at all times. I, I get that, but you know, um, ultimately, I I, I want to start games. I want to start games, and hopefully, um, you know, I just I can I can perform and and do that to the rest of the season. And obviously, you, you backed up the fact that you started the game with the with the goal, but also not just the goal. You know, you worked really hard for the team up front, so you can't have done your chances any harm, really. Yeah, I think that you know, I think that's the standard up there, isn't it? You know, um, especially if you're in a two, you've really got to occupy you know their their, their defence and, and press from the front. And I felt me and me and Joe had done that well the other day, and as did you know Chaz and Sam when they came on as well. You know, we've got four really good forwards at the club. Um, you know, all, all with a stake, who, who all want to play games. So, you know, it's 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 difficult for the manager. Uh, I get that. So, uh, you know, the competition's healthy, and um, hopefully, we can all, you know, whoever's playing, just be ready and, and all encourage each other. And having that competition for places, that can only be a benefit, can't it? I mean, you, Jordan, on the same amount of goals, Sam Mumbai's um, just behind you on the scoring charts, with Charlie also pushing for it as well. Now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, competition is healthy and hopefully we can get them a few more chances. That would be nice for the strikers to get a few more chances because, you know, sometimes they are at a premium. You know, we know that and we've just, it's up to us to take them when they come to us and we'll take that, we'll, you know, we'll take that ownership. Speaking of chances and with them maybe being at a premium, the last two games they certainly haven't been, have they? It must be encouraging for you as a striker the number of chances that we are creating at the moment. Yeah, I mean, you know, not many teams will go to Ipswich and score three goals. It's, well, certainly this season, at least anyway. So, um, yeah, you know, just to reiterate again, it's, it's up to us to take the chances when they come and, and uh, it's up to the rest of the team to create them for us. <laughs> you said um, early on in the interview that you've not stopped believing and the rest of the team is sort of adopting that mindset as well. Is it just a case for you, for you at the moment, just taking it one game at a time and just trying to get some points on the board as quickly as possible? It's exactly that. It's exactly that. Um, uh, I, I, you know, I speak for myself and I say, you know, you have to focus on your performance first, and then uh, you know, sometimes things won't swing your way, and they will swing your way. But you can't hang your hat on that. You can't think, oh, we're unlucky there. You know, there's. I think luck only takes you so far. As you know, you know there's no uh, what you know what's to say. And you know, the harder you harder to work, the harder you work, the luckier you get. So, um, I do believe in that. And I do, I do firmly believe that results will come our way, especially after the really encouraging display on Tuesday. How have you found working under the new head coach, Liam Richardson? What's yeah, like? really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Um, you know, we've got a clear, clear way of you know how we play, our restarts, our tactics. Everything is very, very clear, which is really helpful. Um, and then it's up to us to know our jobs and uh, stay on task. 
Next challenge, um, Queen's Park Rangers, obviously, a, a, a team who are sort of in a similar league position to mm. us and you must, especially with how we played on Tuesday, as we keep saying, must fancy a, a chance to go in there and, and get a result. Yeah, it's, it's you know, Loftus Road is a difficult place always to go and get a result, but um, you know, they're in a similar situation. They'll be they'll be dying for three points as well, and um, we're, we're going to go down there with that mindset, obviously, to win the game. And it's another team as well that if we can take points off them, it sort of uh, brings them a little bit closer to us as well. Yeah, I mean, we could take points off anyone in the division. We we can. We've we've shown that. Um, you know, that this championship, especially this year, is probably. You know, you speak to anyone out there, it's probably the most difficult the championship's ever been. Uh, if you look at the stature of the teams and the, the competition, it's extremely difficult. So, you know, but we, you know, it's, we, we can take points off anyone in the division and we, and we have took points off really good teams. Um, we just need to, you know, continue to do that.